what it was that that attracted you originally to doing this process? I was really scared of doing it at first because it's like it sounded very intense, yeah. like laughing and crying. But I felt like I wanted to go into into this catharsis process. I heard so many people talking about it and I felt like I wanted to go through it. I felt like I've always had trouble laughing. I've had, I've, I've, I, I felt like I haven't really, really laughed in my life. I mean, I remember when I was a child, I used to laugh a lot. But, so that was a big attraction for me. I didn't really think about the crying much. I knew it was going to be difficult, but I thought, I really want to try to get into the laughing. And it was the most difficult part for me. I'm still struggling with it. <laughs> yeah. The name captured me from the instant I heard it. Um, Mystic Rose just touched my heart in a way that I can't really explain. And um, then I researched it and discovered what it entailed the week of laughing and crying and then silence. And it just felt everything in my being knew I needed to do this for my own healing and transformation. It was completely instinctual knowing that this was for me. <laughs> yeah. talk about this? I remember when I first hear about this process, it's from our friend Nangala. And uh, she uh, introduced this process saying that, oh, they will, there's a Mystic Rose meditative therapy. And once we hear that, crying, loving, and meditating, meditation always really catch us. And uh, don't know how, why, but inside it's, it's an urge to, to do this. It's really, can't say, can't say why. Can you add anything to that? Okay. Yeah, I think it's, it's quite intuitive in a way because we did a little bit taste of it. Our friend Mangala did a bit of taste for it for us and then um, it was, well, the mind couldn't really understand what is happening. But then I guess it's part of it because of the trust to Osho that I think there must be reasons for designing such a therapy, meditative therapy for us. So I, I guess it's like the feelings inside that's pulling us towards the process, more than the logical mind. Did you have any any um, concerns or apprehension about doing the process before the first time you tried? Actually not. Yeah, not. yeah we just jumped totally into it <laughs> without knowing. <laughs> yeah, but um, for laughing, I'm a bit concerned. How can I laugh for three hours? Sometimes I, I laugh like a few minutes and then I'll stop. But how can I last three hours non-stop it's really a uh, concern I, I have doubt whether I can do it or not but uh, yeah well, we but did it. You did it. <laughs> I knew I needed to cry I wanted to come and cry that was my main calling you know that was the part of me that spoke strongest and I actually didn't think about the crying at all and then it was only when I got here and started the process that I considered three hours of sitting in silence could be produced stressful as well but I, no, I didn't think of it before the time I just knew I had to be here to do it and just to do it for three hours was like my god how's that possible <laughs> you know <laughs> so I guess that was the yeah that was my attraction to start it off with and everybody had told me this is the most um, intense process you'll experience and I had the idea it'll completely transform me my first time didn't <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was it was amazing though the first time yeah what did you find was the most powerful the most um, perhaps the most challenging but the most the most profound part of the process for yourself I think it would be the transformation that bit by bit in the process that I can see I don't know if it is the ego or something just something in me is melting away so I used to have very bad temper. He knows very well. I'm a very hot-tempered person, and I'm very impatient. I 
I got angry quite easily, actually. But then, as it goes on, and then all these scenes pop popping up in front of me during the, especially the laughing week, and then I didn't notice at first, but then gradually I noticed that in my daily life I don't get angry so easily anymore. It seems that that part of me was like dissolving, changing. I can't say how, but I know it's been utterly life-changing. It has... Um, challenging isn't, isn't the right word, but it requires everything of you. But I came to this process with the sense that my life depended on it. So I really threw myself into the process as much as, as, as I could. You know, with my own blocks and limitations, I gave it everything that I could. Um, so, yes, getting into the laughter felt a bit odd at first, but the support of the group and what happens and the dynamic and the instructions and everything all help and it just, it does find its way. So I found my way through the process. And um, in the laughing particularly, I was able to let go of the inner critic just there were times when I really did that and it paid off enormously because I was able to access areas that I would never have if that voice had still been in control. For me the crying was like the part that I felt like more challenged. It was not so hard to cry to get in touch with it but like the things that I was in the group, I, I was walking in the mandir and I was feeling like this sadness that I don't know where it was coming from. And I felt like I, like I was releasing so much stuff that I was carrying with me. I don't know, it, was, it felt very unburdening, the whole thing. But the crying week for me was the most liberating. I felt like I was just dropping my wait for everything like for the whole I felt like I was taking care of myself by crying and by releasing this whole sadness and this pain it seems like now I'm totally different to several years ago I could feel it in me I'm more relaxed with myself in my daily life although I still have moments when I lost my temper and then I would feel oh, just so, so impatient with myself or with things in my life. But then it's, it's a big improvement. <laughs> mm. um, for me, I used to be a, a very sad person. I always worry about tomorrow, uh, the future, and also the past. And uh, after doing Mystic Rose, and, uh, uh, we did eight times all together. But every time it seems my sadness um, is dropped a bit and then drop a bit and then I feel like getting more lighter and happier and, and more um, like gratitude is it's growing in me mm. so I found it, the process is very amazing. Knowing that you've done the process but haven't yet gone back into the contrast of your real life, what is it that you feel has changed about your life? Um, I feel ready to show up in a way that I was too afraid to before. All my blocks and all the conditioning and all the shaming that had sort of kept me tight and locked away somehow, I feel a lot of that's been dissolved and I feel quite excited about emerging. <laughs> How do you think that's going to look in the, when you get back into the real world? I don't know. I think, I think I'll have a voice. I think I'll be more easily able to speak up. And I think spontaneity is a big thing because I realized at the beginning, watching other people in the process and just observing people anyway through life, how many 
checks were always in place for me before anything came out of my mouth. There were always so many blocks and roadblocks and police, you know, that I, I couldn't be spontaneous. And I feel that a lot of those have kind of put those ghosts to rest. So hard to explain, but I would say like, like Leela has said, it's an energy process and it, it requires a lot of trust to go into this process because it's not like, let me intellectually do this. Because you, you cannot, like it doesn't allow you, like you try to do it intellectually, you really do try, but it just keeps sucking you out of that and bringing you back into your body. So uh, for me, if you know, no one told me that, but I, I was struggling the first time because I was coming from that place of, I can do this, you know? I really saw my struggle just to be relaxed and to be myself through the laughing and the crying and how much, uh, how hard we are on ourselves when we're not doing what's expected. And I just was more relaxed into that, which helped me cry a lot more actually, it helped me see that I'm, I'm not really that loving with myself. And that's what this process has really helped me see. Is Like even today, I was, I was saying to myself, like, I had this thought where like, you know, meditation is, is nothing without love. And I was feeling that with this process, if I don't learn to love myself, meditation is just a, another ambition, another effort, and it gets so tiring. So this process has helped me with, with that in particular, for sure. If someone was thinking of doing the Mystic Rose, um, and perhaps ambivalent about it, what, would you, what message would you have for them? I just, I think everybody should do Mystic Rose. I just think, gather your courage. We've all got wounds and conditioning that we can do without. And this process really, really helps to dissolve those and free us. I would say, just do it. <laughs> because I honestly think that this is a great process that's good for anyone in whatever situation he or she is in. Um, just go for it. It's not a proper way to how to do it, but uh, do it totally and you will get what you want. For me, everything was important, like the struggles, everything. So even before it started, I was feeling so scared. <laughs> and I, the first session was so, like, it felt like I was relaxing into myself, really. So I feel like everyone should do it. It's really amazing process. I would say just go for it, like as much as you can, and don't be hard on yourself. Just go for it because the rewards are just phenomenal. Like, mm. even if the reward is only for a month, you know, you can feel this month of you can experience something you've never experienced. Like everything just really slows down and stops, and you feel something that you've you, perhaps you've experienced before, but it's just so fresh. You know, it's so alive. So, yeah. Okay. Final question. How would you describe the Mystic Rose in one word? Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> really unburdening. The word unburdening. <laughs> Softness. I would say it's amazing. And I would say transformative. Thank you both very much. Thank you. <laughs>